Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and in this video we will learn again about Photoshop 3D effect. We will convert a shape into 3D. So as you can see that I have two examples or sample images which I have just converted them into a 3D image. So this is basically a effect overlay. So we can just turn off these layers. This is the original output of Photoshop CS6. Let me just clear you one thing here. I am using Photoshop CS6 version, uh, which is extended version. It's still in a demo version, but I can convert them into permanent version. So we can crack that. Uh, I will upload some couple of videos about how to crack properly. I uh, already uploaded uh, uh, on my channel about how we can up, uh, crack the Photoshop CS6 and convert it into uh, Photoshop CS6 extended to enable 3D options as you can see that in this uh, Photoshop we have 3D option enabled not right now but later I will show you uh, so in this video we will learn about how we can create this effect so this effect can be created only in Photoshop CS6 okay so keep in mind that uh, this effect is only created in Photoshop CS6 extended so if you are using Photoshop CS uh, sorry CC 2018 uh, you cannot create this effect so the procedure will be different you can create same effect but the procedure will be different in different version of Photoshop so I have already uploaded different kind of uh, uh, versions of Photoshop to create the same effect in those versions so I will upload more videos if you will see uh, uh, if you will ask and uh, we will have uh, we will uh, um, I, I would like to say that I will uh, arrange a Q&A session so if you want to ask any question just ask Adnan uh, just uh, put uh, hashtag uh, just put hash uh, ask Adnan just put ask Adnan uh, with your question and uh, I will make a video and I will demonstrate that thing which you asked uh, about uh, in that question so let's just move to the video um, uh, this is the effect basically so I'm just uh, turning it off you don't need that uh, we will uh, create a new Photoshop uh, file file new and uh, the size is 9020 by 1080 pixels sorry and uh, it's in pixels and resolution is 300 per uh, pixels per inch and uh, everything is same but the background should be transparent okay we don't need any background so we can say that uh, tutorial and basically don't talk about my accent this is not our native native language so whatever I am saying is just uh, to explain you so this is the basic empty template in Photoshop what we'll do now is we will bring our uh, logo or shape which you want to convert it into 3d so we'll drag it into Photoshop it's an EPS file you can make a PNG file it's all depends on your choice so we'll size it down a little bit you can see it's uh, pretty nice here uh, mm, cool I think we can just size it down because the extra area will make more render time so um, we can make it smaller to reduce the standard we can say that render time cool that's nice now we will centerize this uh, logo to make it right in center so we'll press ctrl a and these options will be enabled while you will select the move tool click on this and click on this so it's in center now press ctrl d from your keyboard to deselect these selections now we can just simply go to right click and click on new 3d extrusion from selected layer or you can go to 3d new extrusion from selected layer so as you can see this is enabled 3d okay so if you are using photoshop cs6 extended and the 3d option is enabled then you can create this effect now we have this option so we'll click on new extrusion from 3d layer yes now it's asking about do you want to create 3d layer would you like to switch to the 3d space so yes we want to switch to the 3d workspace so here's the 3d workspace if you don't see this grid you can see just press ctrl h it will uh, display on your screen so now you can see this is the 3d menu now what we will do is we will simply just select our 3d layer okay which we are going to work on so this is the extrusion depth we will convert or we can shift it to little smaller not so longer but little smaller I think uh, uh, 250 will be much better for this yes cool we'll enter this to apply this effect 
and now we will select the foreground color okay this is the foreground bevel yeah foreground okay now we will click on diffuse to check if we are right so at this time we are not right but we will select our blue color here to attain edges so we will select and copy this color code okay so we are now here so we can convert this color like and paste this code nice now hit ok and that's it now we will select this last layer then second last then third last these three layers are important so we'll select them and change the uh, specular color and make it a little bit gold or you cannot just just leave it as it is we just want to diffuse the color okay so uh, make it a little bit like this hit ok and now we will increase the shine right right 60 it's nice much better so that's done that's uh, i mean to say that's that's over okay now we are done here we will go to layers and we will select our background layer and we will fill this with a white color did you feel that yeah we filled that now we'll right click on this and click on postcard now we'll convert this layer into a postcard layer nice now we'll select again our layers we will close these arrows and then press shift and hold this shift key select the upper layer and merge them both using Control plus e now these both layers are in a single 3d layer uh, this is a 3d layer and now what we'll do is we will simply just uh, go to 3d and click on render and now it will start working you will see it start working the light color will be displayed you can increase that intensity you can change the colors right after uh, completing the render so we will wait for the render to complete its work and then we will come back to our tutorial again Okay, so as you can see that the render is complete and you can see the output is not so much good but we can make it uh, attractive just to change some colors, hue saturations and some color adjustments. So first of all we need to get back to our main original workspace. So for this we go to 3D and click on essentials. So now we are in a standard uh, workspace in Photoshop CS6. Now we right click on this layer and uh, we convert it to smart object because whenever we apply some effects on that we can redo or undo those effects later we don't need to undo those things so that's why i use mostly these smart objects filters so now this is our basic output but what we need to do is we will separate the front side and the back side what we do is this or this is just click on this uh, magic wand tool click on this but uh, you can see that if you click on this this selection is uh, will be erased so what we'll do is we'll click on this dual selection it will create multiple selection at uh, different clicks as you can see here and here so once you selected all of these uh, areas just uh, press ctrl j from your keyboard and that's separated but you cannot feel the difference so to feel this just click on effects apply some color overlay on this uh, front face you can see we have changed all the colors so you can change it to any color you want but we will work on, uh, work it on later so click on ok now first of all we need to do is we need to extract these colors so the process is um, we will change the color balance to change the color balance we will click on this color balance layer it will create a adjustment layer on the top of this layer and now we can change all the colors from our background you can see now it's up to you which color would you like so it's an instagram logo so we will convert it into a instagram shape or colors uh, let's just be honest with this color scheme and these are highlights you can change this shine color or increase this shine uh, you can see that this is now shifted into an Instagram shape and looks nice but uh, yes now it's nice though uh, we'll close this and now we'll apply some hue saturations to make it much darker selections so to choose this we will select 
yellows here and now we can increase this yellow color but you can see the slider is not working for this time so the process is click on this hand and click here now we can change the colors but we will not too much change just a little bit to increase the intensity so like this kind of intensity is looks much better okay now we'll apply some selective colors and select neutrals as you can see it looks much darker it's up to you totally up to you how you like to see these um, things so that's nice once uh, one more thing i would like to add is from color balance we'll change the highlights make it a default you can see it's much attractive oops uh, yes little bit more just play with this uh, handler and you will see the different kind of changes in the image so we'll go to shadows if you will see the shadows you can see it's making darker so we don't want to make it too much dark just a little bit touch to this and uh, i think it looks uh, much better now the front face is looks ugly so as you can see i have changed the color so we'll change this color overlay to null and then we'll go to gradient overlay so the process is simple we will change the angle of this color scheme make it 58 degrees it look much better the color light is from the front side on the top of your uh, shape so now you can make it softer or you can make it normal but change the color scheme choose the color from your background or uh, this darker looks much better select this white color and make it little lighter color if you don't want to apply this you can just select this white color make it whiter and make it a little bit darker to make it much attractive then we'll make it also a little darker again just play with the settings and you will get whatever you want to see okay now we'll go to color overlay and we'll change the dark color which is hard color and make it smaller so it looks much faded color now so play with the settings and you will get your desired colors but you can make it gold color also the gold process is simple we will just turn off this layer and just make v saturation sorry it's not v saturation it's color balance color balance and we can shift this into a gold color which also looks nice but this is amazing i really like this thing okay not too much just a little bit that's nice now the front color is look look looks uh, so ugly you can make it also gold to process little bit so good and then increase this you can make it a little lower it will match all the edges so but we can increase this a little bit and make it much harder not too much just a little bit the gradient overlay is not 100 percent so uh, thing is that we can make it linear to radial to angular it's all up to you but linear is much better so it's if it is not darker you can make it darker nice then we will apply some inner shadows or drop shadows but drop shadows works fine for this inner shadows will not work uh, for the time being because it's a 3d as you know that so the angle should be front face top angle change the color to white you cannot see the white color because it's multiplier make it normal and you will see white at this time so the size should be zero to make it harder speed should be little bit uh, extra not uh, too much hard let's just add some twist in that and then just make it a little yellowish it could be much much attractive now you can see the range play with the settings and you will get whatever you want to see so that's two color scheme choice 
whatever you like it's a gold and it's professional instagram color just change the front face and it will convert it into instagram color so you can play with the settings and get whatever color you like and i hope you like this video also if you like this video make sure to comment under this video if you want to ask something just type your question and post it we will make a video about all your questions we will meet in our next video stay tuned allah hafiz audio jungle